Why didn't NVIDIA just lower the price of the 4080 by $200? Um, you're asking the wrong person, to be perfectly honest. But uh, probably... <laughs> it's, a hard, uh, it's a hard one. Probably because they just thought attaching the super branding to it and that that would make it a bit more exciting and mm -hmm. generate a few more sales just by doing that. Um, though they did have to sell higher quality silicon to do so. So a bit weird, but then they were able to... Yeah. Uh, I think it's a brand perception thing. I think it has to be, right? Like cutting the price of a product that already exists is sort of like you're almost conceding that that product was a fail. Even though that they price. did that though. But it's... For people like us who... A very in the market and you're enthusiast and sort of you follow oh what was the previous models what's the new models oh th this is happening we can we can make the call that it's basically the same product sold at a lower price so it's effectively a price cut mm -hmm. and therefore it's kind of the same effect right but there are people who don't look into it as much and they're sort of if they see something like oh the 4080 is like 200 dollars cheaper now that's a bit weird i guess maybe that wasn't so successful but if they now launch a new product called the 4080 super for a thousand dollars it's like, oh, well, it's a totally new thing. Mm -hmm. So that for the people where that, uh, this obviously doesn't work for us because mm -hmm. you can't sort of get us in that way. But for the people where you're not paying as much attention, which is fine, obviously, and you're just a very casual observer and you see they want that new product to say, this is our new thing. We're selling it at a new price mm -hmm. as opposed to this is our old thing that we couldn't sell at the old price and so now it's a new price. Yeah, that's right. And also, as you say, with the brand perception, $50 discount is different to a $200 discount. That's right. So they've knocked a little bit off, um, whereas this is, yeah, kind of big news. And and then tie into what you're saying, if you're a salesman or whatever and you're selling these things or you're mm -hmm. in video and you want to make a quote, you can say, not only is this a new product at a, at a new price, but it's faster. Yeah, that's right. You can say it's faster. It's got more cores. It's more. It's, it's, a, it's a beefed up, improved thing. You don't have to, mm -hmm. you don't have to say it's, only maybe three or four percent faster, but you you can say it's the new version, mm -hmm. it's the super version, and it's faster. That's right, and you can even say things like you know it's got a new price for the the current market, mm -hmm. whereas you know, the forty eighty was launched in a different time. Mm -hmm. Sort of, so there's a whole bunch of, of factors to consider there. But yeah, Nvidia typically has done this. They've avoided the official price cut as much as possible. The only times you really see it is things like the forty seventy, where they want to continue that product in the market, but they launch another product at the same price. Mm -hmm. That's the only real time that we typically see official price cuts. When if NVIDIA wants small one. To, if NVIDIA wants to adjust the pricing of their lineup, they will almost always release a new product instead, which gives them, you know, perception advantages. And that's all the the GPU market is so boring that they've they've obviously tried to generate a bit more interest in hey we've got like again this is another fact that we haven't talked about right if they price cut the 4080 how many people are re-reviewing it and regenerating you know the third party analysis and content about it yep not very many people you'd see some news articles but you wouldn't see the whole this is new let's test it again and i know your review kate you sounded quite bored in the video but that yeah, nvidia bit. was wanting you know the whole new wave of information new wave of excitement hopefully and then you generate sales off the back of that which a price cut doesn't always give you mm -hmm. so yeah i hopefully that explains some of the thought processes why they would release a new product that's so similar <laughs> instead of just price cutting the old one